Hi, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can find intents inside apps. In previous tutorials I showed you the use of auto share, auto share intercept and intent intercept. This time we will digging inside the source codes, we will use the manifest of the app itself. So first let me give you just a simple example. I will do it by using auto voice. Write a keep note. What would you like to write? Hi, this is a test. And as you see, Keep will write a note with the text that I just said. So in this case, I'm using an intent. But how can I find that intent to write that? So I'm gonna use another app for that. And I will look inside the manifest XML file. So let me open that app. The app is called Android System Info. So let me open that. And you will see here also an icon, Apps. Click on that and that will load all your apps. So let's find Keep. Okay, and here I have the app Keep. And you will see here several buttons and you will see here the Android manifest. So click on that and then you will see the file. When you open the file, you will see here at the top the package name. Also, you can find that right here. That's also the package name. You also see the SDK version right here. And when we scroll down, you will see something like that. You will see here intent filter between brackets and then you will see action and category and eventually data. So the intent filter will start right here and will close right here. So we can use an action android point intent point action point send. We can use the category android point intent point category point default and then we can use for example in this case here the data. So we can use the type text plane. Also we can use an image of course. So we have here the information of our intent. Then you can use that inside for example auto share. So let's open auto share right now. And inside auto share you will see here manage your intents. So let's open that. And I created also another one for keep. So let's scroll down and here you will see here keep create a keep node. That's what I was using inside the demo. So when I long press that intent, you will see here set categories, set app, action, data, type, target, package, and class. So we can use that information inside this intent as well. So for example, when I click on set action, you will see here that action android point intent point action point sent. Let me cancel that. So when I click for example, example on set package you will see here also the package name com point google point android point key let's go back and when i click on that i also added an extra and i used the data as text so when i long press that one you will see here for example set type you will see here it's a string and that's plain text as you saw also in the information of the manifest so it's quite easy to use intents but there are not always intents for each action inside the app so you can use other things like auto input etc etc for that so let me open tasker so you can see the example that i did i just created an auto voice recognized command and my command was write a keep note and i triggered this task let me open that it's quite easy it's a say command what would you you like to write and I do a get voice timeout 30 seconds and then I will do an auto share and I use that intent that I just created inside auto share the package is com point google point android point keep the class is this one and the app is that one and the text was the variable voice that's all what I did and that will create a keep note using voice so this was a simple example how you can find intents inside apps and remember you can find all the information inside the manifest of the application Android Info System. So I hope you like it. If you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my Google Plus community. Like always the link is below. And see you next time. Bye.